what's going on guys it's easy welcome to my channel in this video i am going to explain how the new paragon tree actually works and also how you can actually save them in your armory so when you actually activate them you would find them that all your selection from the tree is actually there and you don't have to reassign all of them so let's dig into that the first thing let's start from the slinger how the new setup actually work as you can see there are three each skill here on each side in the middle these are the first skill and these are interlinked with some of them so let's say if you want to make this work it would say for example or, or one more thing about the attributes let's take out the attributes issue first here the first question is about the attributes bonus attributes people are confused that what would happen to them if they switch the paragon tree would they lose the buff from the bonus attributes right now i am activating my skills from different paragon tree and as you can see they are just keep on going up so you don't have to worry that what skill you are unlocking all you have to do is unlock more skills and the more skills you unlock the higher bonus attributes you are going to get and there is another paragon tree is coming on its way maybe with the anniversary of diablo immortal but anyways let's unlock this sign here and as you can see here on the left side there are five slots in which you have to activate skills or let's say you you have to put skills there in order to make them work let's say i like this skill here called precision and i want to activate that but it is interlinked with these two careful aim and sharp eye so when i click on ok it doesn't activate and now you have to look for these two skills and thankfully they are really close to one another this one is careful and this one is sharp eye so in order to activate this one you have the option to activate one of these and let's say i activate this one the careful aim and now with that i can activate this and you can skip one here let's see if we need to activate this and it doesn't work for some reason why is that you must activate careful okay I, I think those are activated but it still says that i have to activate or maybe there is a bug there i am not sure all ah, right okay you have to activate this and this both in order to activate this but i would say this is actually a bad choice and now let me just activate un uh, deactivate this one and let's see what happens so by deactivating this skill as you can see we lost two of those the one that were linked with the careful aimed this one this one is still working because we have activated sharp eye as well but if i deactivate this we are also going to lose this so i hope this explained that how interlinked links are uh, interlinks nodes or skills are working and if you have any question do let me know in the comment section but let's save for the slinger paragon tree if you guys would ask me gz which one is better or which nodes are in my opinion good i am just going to give you guys a general ex uh, example which is going to work nicely this one here careful aim will work nicely with precision unseen dynamism activate the uncanny and gifted 
keep this five and you will see a huge buff in damage and if you guys do not want this one then what you can do is activate this with the precision it will work good as well so i hope i have explained this in the best way possible but if you guys have, are going to have any question do let me know so now that is out of the way and you can see my bonus attributes are just going up each time when i unlock more skills and the cost of each skill is going to remain the same which is four paragon points so now that is out of the way let me now explain how to save this setup in the armory which is quite easy so clicking here this is the new loadout and let's say if you already have the loadout which is actually oh i actually reset that this was my flower setup but anyways uh let's say this one is actually missing and you would want to add the paragon setup in this what you have to do then is overwrite your quant load out with the setup that you selected from the paragon tree and make sure that you actually turn on this stick as well you can see this one is turned off but the moment you turn this on and overwrite or save a new loadout you are going to see a paragon icon there and that's how it is going to work so i hope this video is going to help you explain how the setup worked and with this i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys